I wrote here when you are in a relationship, don't block your ears. So what I am practice, always practice the pause system. Practice the pause system. Pause, pause. They say we bought a year to be possible. I was saying, if you are not going to now, now put your baby on contact. No, I say to us. You know, Otto Rapp has a book. It's called Pause and Ponder. Get that book and read. It will help you. There are times in life you need to pause and ponder. Every day we are going to have a say with you now. Now put your baby on contact and what was it? Hallelujah. Amen. Don't block your ears when you are in a relationship. This is what I saw. Oh, I am going to now. I read it. It's in a way in line with counseling, but I am going to explain it differently. Amen. As a way. Make sure you see well. Because you are going to be with this person for 20 years, 30 years. If there's any danger, don't block your ears. Don't block your eyes. You saw so a danger, but you still want to enter. What is wrong with you? Then how? You have seen so many roadmaps. And listen, road maps always shows you where you are going. And why you want this? I want to go to the airport. Um, um, um. For example, on Saturday we will be going to a Jumako. I have not been to a Jumako before, but by reason of looking at the road maps, I can drive to a Jumako, right? Sir, maybe they do the road maps. Jumako. May go on that. Then she is going to pass the road. I will see a place there and there. It means ten. There's a calf. If I follow the road maps carefully, I will get to a Jumako. So road maps can lead you to your destination. Don't close your eyes on them. So many of us, we see road maps, we see so many things pointing to disaster, yet in the name of love, we still continue driving. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you following? Yeah. Because if you are the person I want to marry and I'm talking to you and you are telling me my mother is stupid. Ask for my mother, not my hair. You know, oh, my mother, she's all educated. She's a stupid lady. Oh, we are, we are, it's a road man telling you if he can say this to his mother. We are, we are, that man is showing you where you are also going to be. Your body is late now, baby. Don't close your eyes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No, are you listening? Very important in relationship. Most of us, we close our eyes and the thing is so clear, you can see it. Yet, you close your eyes and in the name of... Now, we don't know where you are. Some of you, even your counselors will tell you when we look at, no, the two of you cannot marry. But you say, no. They will say, no. Check the mass. Check the size. You are not married yet. But look at what she is doing. It's a sign telling you that you are going to end in disaster. It's a sign telling you that you are going to end no way. Like you are already signing your divorce before you be married. Ladies and gentlemen, marriage is good and sweet, but we need knowledge about it. So be careful, open your eyes and see. No, we are talking about something here. I was answering, somebody asked a question and I was trying to answer them. Uh, as Larry came in with another suggestion, he was also giving another thing. And it's like, before you marry, let your partner know your goals, your vision, your what, 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 what. Amen. Amen. So now I shall want to marry. I tell you, I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor. I'm going to be an international pastor. I'll be traveling. I'll be doing this. My wife says, no, 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 no. I don't like men who travel. You are still saying, ah, but I will marry you. You understand? Before maybe we will marry, before I married her, I was already a pastor. Then can you imagine we close church and I'm talking to Auntie Helena and then she comes to the next and is, what were you discussing with him? <laughs> let me see your phone, let me see your phone. 
you were taking number. Whose number were you taking? Let me check, let me check your text messages. I'm high, no, I'm no. that roadmap is telling you that, Pastor, where you are going. Because tomorrow you'll be preaching to thousands of people. Young people will come to church. Educated people will come to church. Rich people will come to church. If the person you say you want to marry today cannot stand 100 people. And any time she sees you talking to another lady, she's in trouble. Oh. Obama, and you say, you, no, check the roadmaps. You are not going anywhere. You are signing your divorce paper. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. No, are you getting what I'm saying? Is it making sense? Some of you, you see roadmaps, yet you, you, who would talk about you, you want to say, you're 50. Only seven, four, I don't know how much I would spot you the way. Now, I'm going to tell you, you will see. And if you don't check it, go, 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 there are so many signs. I am ending this type this one today. Amen. Amen. Check the signs there. What is it about the other person? It could be anything. It could be finances. It could be, finances. It could be, it could be emotions. It could be character. It could be character. It could be anything. Check it. Hallelujah. Amen. If it can't work, don't force it. No. no. Apply the place. Pause. No. And ponder. No. 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 Amen. Amen. Ponder. Ponder first. No. 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 If you can. No. Because people are caught up in it and they don't know what to do again. No. No. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I'm saying so, so because you know that you must about being with me. Just I used to visit her a lot. Now I don't feel now. What do my mean to do? What do you mean? It means that you can do that to my mother. To my mother, sir, now what do you mean? I am saying what do you mean, Papa? But you still send the text messages and say, "Hey, one more thing, Papa." You love it. Hallelujah. 